Hello everybody, I'm Elworthy and today, uh, pretty crazy stuff going on on the internet. Um, obviously, if you're watching the video, you know, uh, Map Hat is leaving Game Theory. Now that doesn't mean that Game Theory is gone, it doesn't mean that, you know, really there's probably going to be any change except for the voice behind all the editing, but, um, it's a, it's a sad day, you know? Um... Shoot, I, <laughs> I, I think the first video of his that I ever saw, uh, if we go to the oldest tab, I think it was, oh god, where did it go? And I'll admit, it, it's been a while, so I might be missing it, no, actually it's before that, it, it, it was one, uh, uh Oh god, I'm not too sure if I remember to be honest. It was so long ago. This was keep my guys. This was 12 years ago, so I would have been. Um, I'm 26 now. I would have been 14 years old, so I was a freshman in high school when uh, Game Theory first came out. But it was somewhere, somewhere around here. I think maybe the Sonic one. The Sonic one looks familiar. I think I think that one I I did uh, I did watch. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it sucks, you know, when people leave. I mean, first we had, you know, PewDiePie kind of taking a break from gaming content, then, um, obviously we have, um, I don't know, I mean, we have Tom Scott, who's, who left, um, you know, Meat Canyon, he's taking a break from animation, uh, Matt Pat now also stepping away from his own company, and it makes sense. Um, to be honest, I completely understand, um, remember he's a person with, you know, a wife, kid, hey, I got a wife and a dog, so, I mean, I get it, like, you do what you gotta do for your family, and I think that's completely respectable and completely fair, actually, uh, to be honest, but, you know, it, it sucks that, um, you know, we're losing the, the creator of this wonderful channel, I mean, I mean, look at, look at where, uh, we've come from, you know, guys, I mean, I mean, I know he, in his finale video, he mentioned that, you know, he really appreciates fans who, like, are growing up with him, um, you know, growing up watching him, but also, uh, who, uh, you know, are still watching him, you know, and I think, okay, I have a, I have my own concept behind this. If you look at the channel when it started, it had a ton of variety, and it was very, all the ideas were very unique and stuff. But I think that as soon as he got on board the FNAF train, God, and he even started, like, look at this, like, eight years ago for this stuff. Ever since he started with FNAF stuff, I feel like it, as it became more and more a part of his channel, I think it took more out of him, is my guess. I mean, it's so... I don't know. And, and it's not that any of this is, is bad, that, that he found a formula that worked, but... I mean, if you go uh, here, actually, it's going to be faster if I just go to the most recent tab here, if I go to the latest, you know, how much more of this is, is FNAF for, you know, it's like, what, one, you know, two, you know, three, four, five, like, it's, it's a lot, right? Six, like, there, there is a lot of stuff, you know, that is more similar, and it's not that he's not making other content, that's not what I'm saying, but I, th I feel like him making more of the content on the same thing is part of the reason he's leaving, although he didn't say it in his video, because I can understand. I mean, shoot, look at my channel, right? My channel has a ton of variety, but, you know, I'm, right now at least, having a lot of fun playing StarCraft games, and I'm going to keep playing StarCraft games, because that's what I like, I enjoy it, um, but, you know, eventually I'll probably move on to some other game, because I need that variety in my life, you know, I can't just do the same thing over and over, you know? Um... And do I know what the next game will be? No idea. No idea. Even Captain Sparkles, you know, he's doing his last uh, retirement, you know, kind of ending uh, Minecraft uh, series right now. So I've been keeping up with that, kind of reminiscing on old times. And I, I think the truth is, we're all just getting older, you know, all of us. I mean, like I said, like I started this channel back in 2009, guys. Like, I'm old too. Shoot, I I mean, this channel started, um, oh God, where's the about? Is there no about? What happened to the about? about 
started 2009. Look at that. It was started about a month before my channel. Oh my god. So we're like the same age. We're like the same age, except he was in, um, what was it, community college, I think, or the end of high school when he started. I was in uh, middle school. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, shoot, that's, that's wild, guys. I mean, my, our channels are pretty much the same age. It's crazy. Um, abs absolutely nuts. And uh, it's cool to see, you know. And, uh, God, I've been doing this for, well, I guess, 13 years. So I'm, I'm like, because it's 2024 now, I'm, I'm super old. <laughs> um, but I'm not, though. You know, I'm again, I'm 26. You know, I'm about 10 years younger than this guy, because Matt Pat's uh, 37. Um, but, you know, I, I get it. You know, people need a break. People need to move on. Shoot, he only has 666 videos, which is not a coincidence, for the record. But um, I think... Um, you know, I think I think there's a lot of respect that needs to be given. I mean, this guy's worked incredibly hard. He's he's done incredible things, and he's brought a lot of people together. And I think we should be celebrating that. I don't think we should be treating this as like the end of the world. But there's something to be said about hey, a lot of creators are leaving nowadays, and I think truthfully, part of it is the creators who are leaving are people who are well enough off that they can afford to leave. You know, I mean, let's be honest here, guys. Like. My ideal goal, as I've always said from the beginning, is to just make enough money so that way I can pay my bills. Once I get to that point, I mean, do I really care that much about growing or expanding? I don't know. You know, I we'll see how it goes community-wise. You know, I love responding to your guys' comments. All the feedback is always appreciated, even if it takes a while for me to implement changes. Because, again, I have limited time. I mean, shoot, I'm filming this right now. About I'd have to go to work in, like, half an hour. So, like, you know, i got to wake up my wife, uh, you know take a shower like it's snowing right now i just scraped the car off of the uh, scraped the ice off of the car um because we're using a rental car right now since we don't have a car um but but yeah i really um i don't know i'm really excited for the future of our channel at least and i'm excited for the future of what his next endeavors are going to be it's going to be crazy um it's going to be absolutely wild and i think um there's a lot to be said that, um, hey, he had a really good run, you know, and I think I'm really proud of what he did. Uh, Matt Pat mentions uh, Unis Honest as well about this idea of like things being fleeting, and that's true. You know, everything comes to an end. I'm sure eventually my channel will end as well. Um, I'm hoping it'll end on my terms, but you know, honestly, I kind of love just making videos, you know, about whatever. I mean, I'll probably make a series about a different game when I'm done with my my current game that I'm playing. Um, you know, there, there's a lot a lot of potential, and there's a lot of stuff I want to do. You know, there's a lot of kind of stuff I'm interested in. And, you know, sometimes um, I don't even know what I'm doing myself. Uh, but I think that... <clears throat> I think that it is, this is a good thing. I mean, does it suck? Yeah. And was I initially heartbroken, I guess you could say? Sure. I mean, it sucks to see a guy that you grew up watching um, feel like he's having to give up a part of himself just for the sake of his family and for his own happiness. But hey, you know, he said, what, 13-hour work days or something crazy? I mean, it, it's it's incredible. It's absolutely crazy how, how big of a schedule he must have had. I mean, running four channels. Now, admittedly, that's on him. That's his choice to run four channels. He didn't have to do it. Did we all theorize what the next channel would be? Sure. But, you know, we waited how long to get those two channels. And, I mean, style theory th seems cool, but it feels rushed considering how quickly he's leaving now. Um, you know, he just made style theory. Now he's, he's leaving. So um, makes you wonder if he got all four just to to complete kind of what everyone wanted. It feels like a little bit of fan service, which I don't I don't have a problem with. I just think it's interesting. Um, but yeah, there's, I think, a lot to be said about wanting to value our creators to the point where um, they f they feel like they, they need to leave. I, I don't know. Like, n like n over the years, none of the feedback I've ever gotten has ever been really anything to make me want to stop, you know? And I don't think that uh, him watching Tom Scott's video and leaving, I don't think we should blame Tom Scott because Tom Scott left for his own reasons, which I think are equally respectable. And, and again, it's everyone's choice what they want to do with their lives. I mean, guys, remember, like I always say, I'm, I'm just a guy <laughs> sitting in my room talking to a camera, ideally playing some games, having a good time. But at the end of the day, you know, 
we're all just doing the best we can. Um, and it's okay. Like, it, it's okay if, if people want to leave, right? There's nothing wrong with that. It's completely fine. It's everyone's choice if they choose to leave or stay or, or whatever. Um, so, I mean, I f personally am really appreciative of everyone who's been watching, everyone who continues to watch. Um, and I really hope that I'm able to keep making great videos for you all to enjoy, you know? Um, but I'm sure, again, like I said, there'll become a time when uh, that'll be it. It'll be my last video. And I hope that's not anytime soon because I got a lot planned. Uh, but again, I guess thank you, Matt Pat, if, if you're watching this, although I doubt it. Um, you really have been a big part of my childhood. And you actually, bear with me. I want to I tell a quick story. So when I was in middle school, um, it was uh, Game Theory, Markiplier, and um, Game Grumps, who I was watching um, on YouTube with my, my buddy. Um, I had to go to his house uh, in high school. And um, we would go to his house and we would just watch like live streams. Uh, we'd watch like game theory, you know, all the YouTube videos and stuff. And I remember I made my first ever Twitch stream uh, with on his account, on his Twitch account, where we just played, um, God, I think it was like, well, I know we did a joint stream together where we played Minecraft together for sure. I know the Oculus had just come out and we were playing that one where you're in the maze. That was really cool. Um, but, you know, we kind of got inspired, like content creation for me, at least while I, I remember I made my channel in 2009, but the true start of my videos came in 2012. So I've, I've been making videos less than him, but I have more videos overall. So I, I'd say it about evens out. I mean, I don't know. I always wanted to make uh, content and I've always, I remember like watching them make content and I was thinking, man, I wish I could do that. And then my, my buddy was like, hey, you, you can do that. You just make a YouTube channel. I remember he made my first YouTube logo for me, actually, um, my friend. And, um, you know, I just started making videos about whatever I felt like. Um, I ended up deleting a good chunk of those because my parents didn't like it. Um, they didn't think they were very good. They were kind of embarrassing. And I think that's fair, although part of me kind of wishes I kept them now just because of the cringe. Um, but, yeah. I mean, look, look at where we are now, guys. We have a channel. We, we have over a thousand subscribers. You know, two thousand plus videos. Um, content's coming out pretty re pretty regularly. You guys have been enjoying watching, and uh, despite you know my living situation and how my life's changed overall, you know, I'm still able to bring the content to you guys that you all want to watch and that you guys have seemed to be enjoying. So, uh, I guess thank you for sticking around and uh, being a part of my life and. Um, you know, just being supportive of me and everything I've done over the many long ass years of trying to make this place work. Um, and God, I just, I really hope that Matt Pat finds what he's looking for, um, out of, it sounds like he's making a game. So, um, that'll be really cool. I'm excited to see what comes out. Um, and I, I think he, I believe he mentioned that, uh, he'd have like kind of a, behind the scenes role. I mean, obviously passing off a company is hard, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's collecting royalties. I'm sure, like I said, he's probably making enough money that he's well enough off that he probably doesn't technically need to work anymore. So he's able to go to his passion and that's awesome. I think we should all be supportive of that. He's achieved something that I honestly, I'll admit I'm jealous of. I wish I could do that. I wish I could just do whatever I wanted. If I could, I'd probably be a, a board game maker. I love board games um, and I'd love to also write a book. That'd be cool. Um, but you know, those are, those are big picture dreams right now. My dream is to have enough money to, to pay for my mortgage. So, um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully this wasn't too sad. Hopefully it was kind of still upbeat a bit. Not every talking video has to be sad, right? Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, as always guys, I'm El Murphy and, uh, I at least will definitely be seeing you guys next time. Take care everyone.